Hi everybody, Lisa with Diamond Designs here. So, um, a lot of people have been asking me to do a video about the checkerboard method with square drills. So, um, I turned the light pad off really quickly just to show you guys what I did. So, number two right here, um, these are the diamonds that are, that I'm going to be placing down in this video. So, what I did just for the sake of the video is I made a box going around a, like a little bit of a section I kind of filled in the miscellaneous ones right here so I'm going to turn the light pad on and then just in this box right here really quickly I'm going to show you what the checkerboard method is and why it can be easier to use when you're using square drills so you want to pick one up and then you place one now imagine a checkerboard in your head then you're going to go, sorry, I got to keep the camera straight one second. You want to put one there. And you're going to kind of go in a diagonal pattern like this. And you don't need to worry about getting them on there perfectly straight, which is one of the reasons why the checkerboard method works so well is because it kind of straightens them as you go in a sense. So you want to place every other square if you can see what i'm doing i'm going to try to keep the camera right there i am uh working on getting a better setup for this by the way because it's it's hard to hold the phone and work at the same time these are going on um a bit more crooked than i would normally have them go on because i'm not looking straight at it like i normally would be but again you will see why that doesn't quite matter especially with poured glue canvases like this one when you're doing the checkerboard method so again you want to do every other square making it look like a checkerboard hence why it is called the checkerboard method and then really quickly as soon as i'm done doing every other square you'll see it looks like a checkerboard so after this one okay so now it looks like a checkerboard every other um symbol needs to now be filled in. i just need to fix this one it's driving me nuts i'm going to turn it a little bit okay that's much better so now that i've done that you're just going to go back and fill in all of the square and see how that kind of it, it moved that drill to the left into place where it needs to be and then you're just going to do the same thing and again once i'm done filling them in you'll see that it lines them up i'm trying to do it let me just see if i can get the camera on a little bit of a better angle here it literally pushes the diamonds together see where those gaps were and now you can't quite see them as much now watch right here the one beneath it is a little bit wonky. It just pushed it into place. Now if I go here, push the one to the right of it into place. Same thing with this one. Pushes those together. And there you have it. So the ones that were a little bit turned are now straightened out it's one of my favorite methods to use um especially when i'm you can do it with round drills as well but it's it's preferred for square drills um just because sometimes they can like i said they can go on a little bit wonky and um it can be frustrating to look at but then when you go back in and fill in every other drill or every other i'm sorry symbol um it it literally just straightens them out on themselves now from experience i can tell you that it's a little bit more difficult with double-sided canvases because the um adhesive is way more sticky than it is on double-sided or i'm sorry the double-sided adhesive is a lot more sticky than poured glue. 
So I'm just, for the sake of time, I'm going to stop right there. And again, you can see some of them are a little bit, it's really just right, right here. They're a little bit off, but I'm going to go back and fill them in. And just like that already, you can see that they're somewhat straightened out. I'm going to put one to the left right here just to show you how it literally straightens them out on their own. Again, I am, um, for anybody that follows me, I am working on getting a better setup so that I can have the camera, like, overhead, and I don't have to hold it, like, hold the phone with my left hand and work with my right. But, um, this is one of the most requested videos. I, I basically put up, like, a poll in the group that I run, which is Diamond Painting USA, <laughs> And ask people um, what type of videos they would like to see me make to help them with certain methods or answer certain questions that they may have. And this was one of the most requested videos. Um, so one more time, I'm just going to go ahead and make this little box here. I'm really going to try to keep the camera straight this time so you guys can see what I'm doing. So it's every other This is <laughs> proving harder than I thought. Um, every other symbol. Place it down. So right now, and you can do it like, you can do it this way. Like, here and then here. Like, if, like Or you can do it the way that I was just doing a second ago. Where you can just go right across the top. And every other symbol, just place it down. It's totally up to you, which is one of the things I really like about it because it, it gives you the freedom to work however you want. And again, if they don't go on perfectly straight, as I just showed you, it doesn't really matter because once you fill in the gaps, it straightens them out. Um, it does not, especially with um, poured glue canvases, leave popping drills or anything like that. So... Um, I really like to try and make like a box like I like the one on this video for example that one's way off um and then go ahead oop, and um fill them fill them back in like I try to section off um a box just like this one and then I have another one two of them up here and again like all of these up here are the two symbol. So I went ahead and I did all of them before I started recording just for the sake of time. Um, but you can do, for example, um, like the H's when I get to them, um, I would maybe like fill in right here and then like this part section it off and fill it in. And you don't have to do it this way. Um, it's just, Something that a lot of people prefer because you don't have to use as much precision when you're placing them. Because again, and I'm going to show you right now one more time, it straightens out the drills all by itself. See? So. Pop that one down. Straightened out the one to the left of it. This one should. Oop. Oh, I totally, hold on, I missed that one. Again, it's, real, it's really hard to work with the camera in one hand and try to place drills down with the other without getting in the way. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. So you guys got to look already. You can, you can still watch ready right here. This one's a little bit crooked. Now when I place this one, it literally just moved it a little bit to the left just enough to straighten it out and and like right here where this one's a little bit crooked once I do top bottom and left it will straighten it out and again with square drills you're never ever ever like for example like right here that one it's actually not popping but it kind of looks like it might be. You're never going to get them 100% perfectly straight. 
my suggestion is to just do your best. Um, again, I'm feel like I'm feeling right here. It sometimes feels like there's some popping, but like I'm running my finger over it and there nothing's coming off because there's not. Um, it's just the way that they're laid down. But uh, this method is is one that um, people that really like to work with square diamonds prefer. I really like it, and again, you can see why because you can. And I and now I wouldn't recommend, for example, laying them down like like that. Like you don't want to you don't want to do that. But if you you want to try and get them on um, somewhat centered, but if they're a little bit off, then when you go to fill them back in. Um, they should straighten up from there. So it's relatively easy to do. Again, you don't have to. It's kind of just personal preference like anything else in diamond painting. Um, but see like that one, it wasn't on too crooked, but it's it went on a little bit wonky. And that's okay because when we go to fill them back in, you'll never know. And... Certainly when the picture is finished, nobody will ever, you know, be able to tell that it was on crooked at one point in time. Um, you just, you don't want to be, I guess, too sloppy would be the word. Like this one's a little bit turned, but when I showed you that example a minute ago about the one that, that I kind of literally just like slapped down on there, you don't want to do that because then it can cause all of them to be off and that can be... It can turn into a nightmare pretty quickly. Now this one, pretty off. See, I put that one down, push the one to the left right back into place. Normally when I'm working, I, I actually do try to use as much precision as possible. And that's just, that's just me. Um, but, and also I'm usually not holding a camera while I'm doing it, so... Um, it's easier for me to focus, but, um, I'm just, I'm going to stop after this section really quickly, but I just wanted to show everybody what it is, how to do it and, um, give it a try, especially if, if you, um, like if you're working on a square drill canvas for the first or second time and you feel like it's not for you, this is something that a lot of people have said has been the only reason why they, ended up sticking with square drill. So I hope that helps. I hope um, that gives everybody an explanation of what the checkerboard method is. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to see more, or if you would like for me to do a specific video, um, all you have to do is leave a comment below. Um, if you would like to, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding videos frequently. Um, and again, all you have to do if you want to see something recorded, if you're not sure about something diamond painting related, just comment it in the comments below and I will go through one by one um, and I will gladly make a video for any and all questions, comments, concerns, anything like that diamond painting related. So I hope this helps and I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.